where you want it. Bay 12, please. Hello there, Transformers fans. Welcome back to another Bay 12 video review. And today we are reviewing the new Transformers Legacy Evolution Nova Prime. This is a pretty exciting figure to get released. I mean, a lot of the figures we got this year were pretty exciting to get released. But Nova Prime here especially, this is the first mass retail Nova Prime. I mean, yes, he's an exclusive, but it's Amazon, so, you know, release of Nova Prime. And, of course, the first official Nova Prime figure, and this is not the first official Nova Prime figure. And no, it's not the Combiner Wars Optimus Prime figure either is, of course, the Transformers Collector's Club Nova Prime, which is the Shattered Glass version, the upgrade to the Shattered Glass Optimus Prime, which was a very interesting characterization of Nova Prime in that universe, of course. But that was the first official one, and it was a repaint slash retool of the 30th anniversary, or rather thrilling 30s, Orion Pax figure. And that was actually a pretty good Nova, and... Honestly, in vehicle mode, a bit more comic book accurate than uh, than this one. Um, look, it, it's great that we got a Nova, okay? I don't want to take that excitement from anybody, but this this Nova is equally great and equally terrible at the same time. And I know that's kind of confusing, and I know that's kind of weird, but we'll get to that. So anyway, here he is in the packaging. You've got some awesome Nova Prime artwork there, and the artwork really, really looks very, very good. On the side, you've got that Legacy Evolution banner artwork. On the side, it looks like you've got some Cybertronians sitting in some seats. On the back, you've got some product shots of the figure, and that's pretty much it for the packaging. And here is Nova Prime out of the packaging. And in this robot mode, he actually looks very, very good. And this is pretty much the robot mode I'm going to cover the most because, yes, he has the inner robot mode like the Galaxy Prime that he is remolded off of. Anyway, fully articulated head is on a ball joint. And honestly, that is one of my favorite features of this figure. They... At, despite everything else, absolutely nailed the head sculpt. The head sculpt, the, the chest, this, the wings. I mean, a lot of this looks really, really good. The, the legs, not too terribly comic book accurate because the front of the vehicle mode is more of a long nose Cybertronian truck cab, not a flat nose Cybertronian truck cab like the Galaxy Prime alt mode truck cab like the truck cab he has for his alt mode. And really when it comes down to comic book accuracy, it ends as soon as you get away from the robot mode that we're looking at right here. So you have the awesome wings. Now, could they be a little bit longer? Yes, but honestly, I think they're at a decent enough length. You have the Galaxy Optimus Prime cannons, which are one of my first big complaints about this figure because yes, these are cool cannons, they look awesome, but they are not accurate to any version of Nova Prime whatsoever. So I like the cannons, but not on this figure. These are Optimus Prime's cannons, not Nova Prime's cannons. Nova Prime has cannons more like Onslaught, for example. I feel like if we had if Hasbro had just taken the time to remold the cannons as well as the wings since they were already heavily retooling the Galaxy Prime figure, I, I wish they had done more rounder, long barrel cannons like he should have going over his shoulder and still have it to where they articulate like so. You don't have to necessarily remove this whole articulation mechanism and stuff and still make it work. It, it's just he should have had more accurate cannons. Of course, his arms, he does have wheels on the side of his forearms, but he doesn't have, you know, the Galaxy Prime bits right here like this guy does. The legs, like I said already, the legs are pretty much completely wrong aside from being the right color. It, it's nice that they included the leg cannons from Galaxy Prime, but not really something Nova Prime has. 
Other than that though, the color scheme is on point. The silhouette of this overall robot mode is on point. I already talked about the head is on a ball joint, fully articulated shoulders, in and out, upper bicep, single jointed elbow, swivel wrists, waist, hips, and on a ratchet too going forward and back, knee joints, side ankle joints. You even have a heel extender for extra balance. Not that you really need it. This, this figure actually stands up pretty well on its own in my opinion. So as nice as it is that they added the extra heel balance, it's not really something you need, but hey, I'm not gonna complain about an extra feature that doesn't really take away from anything else. So it's a good extra feature to have. You can of course take off the side leg cannons and he can wield them in his hands if you like or just leave them on his legs there. You can, of course, rotate his galaxy cannons forward, which again, looks cool, just not comic book accurate. Like, as, as awesome as this line has been, this figure is, in my opinion, the least accurate of all of the IDW comic figures they did out of this subline, out of Nacelle, out of Orion packs, and, and I'm including the Orion packs from the Orion packs and Shockwave 2 pack. This is even less accurate than that, in my opinion. Megatron and Ratbat, definitely less accurate than Megatron and Ratbat. I mean, yes, Me Ratbat probably didn't transform into a space boat, but we never saw Ratbat transform in the comics, so it doesn't matter what the alt mode is that they made him since there's not really a source material to base that off of. There is, however, source material to base his alt mode off, which is why I'm being a little bit more critical about it, and also because this is the first retail Nova Prime, so I feel like Hasbro should have made more of an effort to get this figure right, and usually they're, they've been pretty on point lately, but this one falls short of the mark in terms of accuracy, in my opinion, and that's where my disappointment is the most. Does he look cool? Absolutely. No question does he look cool. Is it an awesome figure? Oh yeah, very much so. That That is not at all at question here either. It's just, is he comic book accurate? Not really. He could do with being a little bit more comic book accurate. Now, is he super accurate to, say, Transformers Devastation? I would say he's a little bit more accurate to what little bit we saw of Nova Prime in the Transformers Devastation video game than he is to the IDW comics. At least that's my opinion on this version of Nova Prime. Now, I'm mostly basing this off of Nova Prime from the main IDW comic book universe. And that's the universe that started in the mid 2000s and ended in 2019. Maybe this version of Nova Prime is meant to be the Nova Prime from the second IDW comic book universe because we never really got to Nova Prime in that universe before IDW lost the license and they had to end that universe. I mean, they talked about a previous conflict with another big bad, the, the Threefold Spark, but that's not Nova Prime and doesn't really have anything to do with Nova Prime. Sentinel Prime made an appearance in that and his design was pretty consistent between the first IDW comic book universe and the second IDW comic book universe, and the Optimus Prime in that comic book universe was based off of the Siege toy of Galaxy Optimus Prime. So, just by that, just with having that lineage of Primes in that universe, and most likely Nova probably would have been gotten to eventually if they had continued that comic book universe as IDW continued to have the license. And maybe this is what he was going to look like in that universe. Maybe this is based off of concept art leading up to Nova Prime that IDW never released that we haven't as fans gotten to see. And it could be based off of that version. I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying such art even exists. I'm simply just speculating based off of the information I have available right now and trying to justify in my mind as to is this a good Nova Prime based off of the fact that he's supposed to be from the comic book universe specifically, in which case the comics we've seen him in, he doesn't totally look like this. You know, it's not, it's not totally accurate. 
That said, this is a great figure despite all of that. For comparison, since uh, we're talking about primes and such, here is the Sentinel Prime from the IDW comics and from Titan's Return because he did come back and apparently he was a Titan Master with basically a trans Tector body for, for himself, which I thought that was very cool. Here he is next to Optimus Prime, who ultimately defeated Nova Prime for good in the IDW comic book universe. Now, this isn't based off of the IDW comics Optimus, but... I mean, the G1 design was used in the IDW comics, even though he had various designs in the IDW comics. And here he is next to Rodimus Prime, the final Prime of the IDW comics. So you can see them side by side. And of course, that's the Flame Toys model kit. And that's pretty much it for comparisons. Now let's get him into his other robot mode for a second and look at how wonderful that is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off the legs. Those are going to just slide off. We're going to fold out those heel spurs there. So he has those. We're going to unclip the section from the back. We're going to untab this section from the front and just pull that right off. Next, we're going to come over here to the front a little, push this forward just a tad and that'll give us clearance to slide up his butt because he is dummy thick and just like galaxy prime and just like the ultra magnus figures were and you can you can take these bits off or you and, and put them onto the back here in preparation for alt mode like i am doing now or you can just leave them on i like to put them on while he's in this mode just so it looks like his back is a little bit more full and doesn't have like just this weird piece hanging off. And then of course you pull these off and that'll reveal the smokestacks. And then we untab the shoulders, open up the cab, reveal the head, close that back up, put those shoulders back down and there is the inner bot of Nova Prime. Now, of course, in the comics, there is no inner bot for Nova Prime. Nova Prime is Nova Prime. The wings and all the other stuff you see is just part of the overall body. I get why Hasbro used the Galaxy Optimus Prime and retooled it into a Nova Prime because, yes, the silhouette can kind of look similar to the Galaxy Optimus' super mode, but I just wish they had changed a few more things. And then, of course, I wish they had changed the front of the alt mode because the front of the alt mode is nowhere close to comic book accurate for Nova Prime. And honestly, I have more beef with the actual alt mode than I do with this inner robot mode. I mean, the inner robot mode, it's there. It's not necessary for this figure. It just is something that was carried over because of the figure they retooled Nova Prime from. Transformation into his Cybertronian truck mode is just like the Siege Galaxy Optimus Prime figure. We're gonna start by pegging these legs together, folding in those heel spurs, coming over here and untapping the shoulder sections like so, pulling this section forward once again. We're gonna flip that head back inside and close that cab back up bring his butt back down, rotate this torso around, push the cab forward as far as you can get it. There we go. And next we're going to bend the elbow, fold this back. This is just going to tab in right there. These fists are just gonna kind of hang out the back. I'm gonna rotate it slightly down like so, so it just sits a little bit better. Get that in there like so. Rotate that down like so. And then we're going to bring up the legs right here. And that's the front of the truck mode all done. So if you want, here is um, cab mode, I guess, of Nova Prime, which looks wonderful, especially with the robot mode fists hanging out the back like they always have with this mold, which don't even get me started on that. Next, we're gonna come over here to the legs and you're going to take these little shoulder pieces here and those are going to fit inside 
these hollow bits before we actually put the legs together. So just kind of get them in there and that'll help fill those gap sections just a little bit so that it looks better in his truck mode, which is an interesting place to store those pieces, but hey, that's where they're stored. We're gonna go ahead and remove these side guns because those are actually gonna go in a different spot. And then of course, now we have the wing pack and we're going to fold down that chest in. The head just kind of sticks out, which is, it, it is what it is. Uh, fold this bit out, extend these all the way. Fold these out, fold these out, bring it down like so. So this is going to be the top. This section is just gonna kind of sit here. We're gonna rotate that head like so, so it's not sticking out. And then bring that up, tag that into place, have this piece hanging up, and this is going to fit right over that. This is gonna fit right over these arms and then these wings are going to clip on over these little grooves right here. So we're gonna go ahead and bring that up, fit that over that groove right there, bring that down so it fits over those hands, bring that wing in, bring that wing in, and we're going to go ahead and clip those, oh, there it is, clip those wing sections into place. There we go. Bring those cannons down so that they sit over like that. Bring these little nub sections right here and these are going to clip right into there. It'll be easier if you clip them down at an angle. Just kind of push it in all the way like so, and then bring this up and these two little bits are gonna tab right up into here, securing this back section into place like so. And then you take the side guns and you peg them on to the side of the wings. So he's got these cool little cannons facing forward. And there you have him in his Cybertronian truck mode, which looks absolutely nothing like he does in the comics whatsoever. It could not be more inaccurate. The only thing that is remotely correct about this is the color scheme, the fact that he's got a couple of cannons hanging over the top, even though they're completely the wrong shape, and that's, well, and the fact that he's a truck. And that's pretty much it. That's where the accuracies of his alt mode begin and end. Nothing about this figure is accurate in alt mode other than those couple of things, which is incredibly frustrating about this figure because once again, this is the first true retail release of Nova Prime that we've gotten. It's awesome. It's a cool figure, but comic which comic book universe is this supposed to be for? Because the only one we've seen Nova Prime in actually doesn't he doesn't look like this he doesn't look like that hasbro so i don't know what happened if you guys would be as so kind to release some artwork that this nova is supposed to be based off of so i'm not like going crazy over the fact that this figure is just insanely inaccurate that would be really nice because honestly it has been driving me bonkers i know this is something kind of silly to get hung up over but I can't be the only Nova Prime fan to be hung up over something like this. I, I just, I can't be. Especially since there are some really good third-party Nova Prime figures and upgrade kits out there. And fingers crossed that this figure gets an upgrade kit that, signif that fixes all of these significant issues I have with it. I mean, even if they're not able to, you know, give them a new front of the truck cab... I mean, if, if there's a third party company out there that makes comic accurate cannons, at the very least, I could forgive some of the other faults of this figure, but it's, it's just driving me crazy. Guys, 
Thank you so much for tuning in to today's review featuring the new Legacy Evolution Nova Prime figure. Is the figure itself awesome? Yes, the figure itself is cool. This is a very, very cool figure. It is a very awesome design. Again, all of my gripes about this figure are simply the inaccuracies between this and how he appears in the comics. That's my true and only gripes about this figure. On every other metric, I really genuinely like this figure a lot, and I think it is a great figure. I'm just... Hasbro, I gotta see the source material of where you designed this guy from because, like I said, that's that's the thing that I'm hung up on. I'm hung up on what is this based off of because it's definitely not the 2000s IDW comics. It definitely isn't because, it, I mean, look at it. It can't be, right? It just simply can't be. This is not his alt mode at all. This is just not. Is he a truck? Yes. Is he this truck? Uh-uh, he is not that truck. So, I don't know what happened. I mean, the the idea on paper was definitely cool. This is, this definitely makes for an awesome Nova Prime figure. It's just not the IDW Comics Nova Prime figure. So, that's it. I'm done griping about it. Great figure if you can pick him up. I definitely recommend it, especially if you've been really wanting a Nova Prime in your collection. Stay tuned for more Transformers reviews. Check out some of the other IDW Comics inspired characters that we've got so far in the Legacy Evolution line. We've also already reviewed the new Nacelle figure as well as the two packs featuring Megatron and Ratbat and Orion packs and Optimus Prime. And then we just have one more two pack to go featuring Javelin and Roulette. Really can't wait to get to those. And yeah, there's some inaccuracies with those two, but more on that when we get to those reviews. Like and subscribe, follow us on social media, check out Cool Toy Review, our sister website for all kinds of awesome toy reviews, news, and content, and like and subscribe to the Cool Toy Review YouTube channel. And if you like all Star Wars content, check out rebelscum.com, the world's oldest and largest Star Wars fan website not owned by Disney, and like and subscribe to the rebelscum.com YouTube channel. If you're looking for some awesome Transformers figures and some other cool toys, check out our physical location inside Order 66 Multiverse in the shops at Willoughby Mall in Plano, Texas, which also houses Order 66 Toys, the nation's official collectible Star Wars toy store. And in case you're not local, they go live every single Friday night from the Order 66 Toys Facebook page at 7 p.m. Central Time, and they ship all around the world. Sign up for CollectorsOracle.com today so you can catalog some really awesome toys for your collection. Now, mostly it's Star Wars for now, but there are some other brands coming very, very soon, and it's entirely free to sign up. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. Transform and roll out. Game over, man. It's game over.